welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2 with myself, Nimson. How are you doing? Thank you all very much for sticking with me all week long. And all your likes and all your comments are very much appreciated. As I said at the end of the last episode, I am very thankful to be doing this. I'm enjoying it and it's great fun, isn't it? It's great fun. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying it as well. Thank you very much. I've got loads to show you. I've spent a few hours in this little agrarian skies world just building things and setting things up. As you can see, I've got a little cobblestone area here ready to place blocks on. So as you can see, this is the sort of step up level, blue horizon that we were talking about, dark horizon that we we're talking about. So blue horizon is what I'm after. So this level is the level that I'm going to be building everything on. So this is kind of like a... A building block so I can place blocks on here and know where it goes and an example of that is this area over here this area over here I'm planning on having all of the green still flowing around the place I might tart it up with a bit of grass block when I get a few grass blocks and things pumpkins I've been growing pumpkins so I'm using those as my light sources in the ground I kind of like the look of it and I've got the tree farms kind of semi-automated over here. Semi-automated, meaning that this flint pickaxe uh, does require a little bit of a fix every now and again. But that's not too hard, because I've got that set up as well. How awesome. I'm basically able to live off the apples, and the uh, saplings all go to uh, make more dirt so that I can expand. And again, here we go. Let's take all of this, actually. Let's give them a quick empty. They've been running on their own for a little while. I haven't needed to do anything really for a little while. Nice little bit of automation. They're all in a 3x3 at the minute. All fully running with upgrades. Got plenty of redstone to do the upgrades. And I've got this little section here. Everything here exists inside of a chunk border. So if we check out the map, you'll see that my 4x4 cobble that I did just recently has got this corner over here is the tree farm yeah yeah easy i got some barrels in the floor like i had previously but i've moved things around a lot so i've taken the tree farm down from over there and brought it all over here so now i've got a good supply of wood going into this chest uh chest for other wood supplies and stuff later on uh, a couple of chests here one for all the different types of saplings that i may get and a chest that i haven't decided yet i just needed to symmetry i just needed the symmetry so there's a chest there for that uh the basil because i can't use it in the barrel anymore uh, because of pack updates and things that jaded cat's done i just put it all in a barrel just putting it in a barrel out the way i will use it when it's a food source that i can use it for there's plenty of food reasons to use it so i'll get that then uh saplings throw the saplings in there and dirt i've been collecting dirt i've got 23 at the minute and leaves i've been growing trees over there and cutting them down with shears and axe to get leaves to make lots and lots of dirt really fast so that i could start building out a food farm over here well a crop farm really and i've been playing around a little bit more with agricraft agricraft and this is a first generation seed second third fourth fifth and this is a sixth generation seed now uh, from what i've seen of my friends and fellow youtubers playing around with agricraft this is like um, a nice little afk method of running things except in this pack we have weeds so i have to come along and wait for it to be fully grown put two crops down wait for it to spread and then leave it alone until it's fully grown again or I can come across with bone meal and speed the job up but now it's uh, now, now it's just basically we let me get back up now it's just basically a little wheat farm for me. Uh, while I haven't got the ability to scan these seeds to find out what's best and so on, so on and so on. I encountered a little problem today, right? This plant uh, crop planter was working perfectly fine uh, from progressive automation. Perfectly fine. It's currently out of fuel, but that's beside the point. It doesn't work. It was originally just planting potatoes and harvesting the potato crops for me. And I got a fair amount of potatoes. You see, I just got seven off that one piece there. Seven off one. Right, so I was getting a lot of potatoes off this. But 
I can't seem to get it to plant anymore. It does not want to plant here. It's got an upgrade of 9, which means it does all of this area. If we give it a bit of fuel, you'll see my predicament here. And do I have some coal there? Yes, I do. Let's put a little coal in it. I've got a charcoal system as well, but this is just for showing you what's what here. Put a bit of coal in. Does not plant anything in these bits. Does not harvest the cropped areas. Uh, if I take those seeds out and put potatoes in, it still will not plant anything. It will not plant potatoes. So I'm fortunate enough to have bone milled and got a load of potatoes from these that I planted earlier. Uh, but now I cannot plant potatoes in tilled soil in farmland. I can't plant potatoes. I can't do it. So I'm kind of kind of needing to do it with Agricraft, which only gives you one potato per crop. And I think that's a, the intention. I think that's Jaded Cat's intention for the mod pack. So all of the potatoes I've got so far kind of feel a bit cheaty right now, but I'm eating them anyway. I'm eating them up anyway, because I won't be able to restock them quite so easily. I've got these two bits of farmland here that I can still come along and bone meal when I want potatoes and get tons of potatoes from, but that's not the way I'm going to do things. That's not uh, the implied method in which Jaded Cat wants us to do things here. So that is going to be upgraded again by me at some point, but at the minute... I just got some potatoes. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a fair amount of food stuffs at the minute. It's not too bad. Every now and again, I go and wander over to the mob farm over there, which is still just a basic mob farm. Um, I was I was toying with loads of ideas of how to make that bigger and better and more automated and all sorts. And then I realised that I was sieving up bone meal as well. Just by sieving, I was getting bone meal. And that's one of the things that I was really looking for over there. I'm sort of getting enough food supply now in my uh, food chest, which is now in here. Let's throw this stuff in here. I've got a fair amount of wheat off that little wheat farm I've got going. I've got a fair amount of potatoes off uh, the potato farms, both the illegitimate potatoes, as it were, even though I earned them. Uh, apples, plenty of apples. Got a few melons come in, got a bit of lettuce come in, and got a bit of monster jerky from uh, hanging up the rotten flesh. So I'm doing fairly well with food at the minute. I'm not worried about food, so hmm, I can I can do those things later. Uh, so yeah, tree farm. And as you can see, there's a downstairs, a basement to the tree farm. So at some point, I can start taking uh, an automation approach and automating the uh, choppers. So I can take the materials that I get from the choppers and deliver them to the storage area. I'm kind of working on the idea that these initial few chunks, if we look at the map again, these initial four chunks in the middle that the main island's on, is going to be like the central area of my entire island complex. And I'm going to be doing all of my warehouse storage and workshop things in this area. So I'll move the smeltery upstairs into this sec section. I got a bit of a storage and mostly I'm going to be in this area and then going out to the farms as I need to. That's my plan. Anyway, Stan, that's my plan. Uh, but today, uh, with all that very quickly covered, um, this, this thing over here, I've only just recently put there to get some um, mossy cobble to put onto my tools because this pick of tears is starting to run out of durability. It's over halfway now because I've been using it so much. It has got a lot of upgrades. Smite, <laughs> Haste, and Reinforce 3. So it's doing pretty well. It's pretty good. It's a good attacking and useful um, tool, really. It's a, an awful one. It's a good melee weapon and also pretty good at everything else as well. I don't know why I've got this uh, stone sword sun suddenly in my inventory. Pretty sure I didn't pick that out earlier. Maybe it was something I just picked up from somewhere, somehow. I don't know, a glitch, a ghost item somewhere sitting. But yeah, that's that. Uh, cactus. I feel like this cactus here, this is the Agricraft cactus, is how it's meant to be. But I've put a cactus on top of sand and that still sits there. It has not grown yet though. And that's been there quite a while. So I'm expecting that 
this cactus doesn't grow. And this cactus is my only way of getting cactus green. Or cactus for cactus juice. Cactus green mainly. I've been using it to uh, dye the clay. Uh, underside was made of hardened clay. So I've been slowly but surely removing the hardened clay. Dyeing it green. And then using it for the upstairs area. Uh, using it for these little bits to expand the starting island out. So it's getting there. I'm getting there quite quickly I suppose. Uh, I had to put a torch right up inside that tree there because there was one spawning spot, that log, just sticking out halfway up. And mobs were coming and I was wondering, where are they coming from? They can't get out of the mob farm. Everywhere else is half slabbed or lit. How are they getting? And then I realised that they were spawning up there and sliding their way down and then coming across here. Knocking all the torches out around the place because they're kind of a special AI thing. Knocking all my torches out from down underneath here, all these little lit spots that I've got. Knocking all those out and then trying to make their way up these stairs to me. I'm like, oh dear me. They didn't catch me out. They didn't kill me. Nothing untoward happened. But at least I've spotted it sooner rather than later. Give me that, give me that, give me that. And uh, uh, I've got now two pieces of melon. I planted some more melon. I planted another lettuce as well. Just to uh, speed up the gaining of those kind of crops. So, crops aside, right? Crops aside, I've got plenty of trees. I'm getting plenty of food. I've got plenty of crops going. And all my tree stuff's going. My cobble gen's all there. I did a bit more smashing of stuff in here. And I've got a few bits and pieces. There's not a lot there, is there? There's not a lot there. But I think we can do something today. Which will make this very, very awesome over the next week. So I can... Uh, Upgrade this sieve a little bit. I'm hoping that that's a thing that I can do today. Um, before that, though, before that, I want to do a little uh, quest thing that I need to get sorted. Let's take those and those and this bow meal, that, and I think I've got my yeah, I've got my uh, bucket there and the three mossy cobble that I've already got and. Yeah, we're going to need a bucket of water. I'm going to take this bucket because this is making mossy cobble. But I think I've got a better way now. So I'm going to use this. There's another recipe for mossy cobble that I didn't know about until I did that and then started looking. There's got to be an easier way. Uh, did I get my wheat? I didn't pick up my wheat. Let's get the wheat. There's a way of making mossy cobble, which is why I've got this set up here. Uh, it's a water bucket with wheat and cobble makes mossy stone. Not bad, not bad. Uh, so, if I fill this, that's four, I need nine altogether. Does this need a bucket every time? Yes, it does, okay. Right, where did I put an infinite water source? Have I even got an infinite water source yet? I don't think I've got an infinite water source yet. Let's quickly get ourselves an infinite water source then. I will place it over here, I think. Uh huh. Yeah, I will place a quick infinite water source here. Just so I don't have to mess about again in the future. <coughs> cobble. Man, why am I out of cobble? Uh, let's take this block, because I don't need that there anymore. Let's go. I can do this. So, infinite water source. You know about infinite water sources. That's nothing new, you say. That's nothing new. But don't worry, we're going to get to the good stuff in a minute. Let's take that. Put this here, like that. Infinite water, thank you. Put this back. Okay, there we go. Right, and I'm also going to need my crafting table over here as well, so I don't have to keep going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Thank you. Okay, and I probably need more cobble as well. Pop, pop, there we go. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's make some mossy cobble and complete this quest. So, we're going to need that and this. Bom, bom, bom. And I'm going to need at least one more because I need nine to make a, a mossy ball thing. So, this will take a, a little, little minute. Do that. Get the bucket back. Do this again. And there we go. Okay, so this is how I am making my mossy cobble. And then to make a ball of moss, I just put nine together to make a ball of moss for the upgrade. And I'm going to do that a couple of times to put the upgrades on these two tools. And I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, here we go. There's uh, two little mossy pieces. That gives us this, gives us another ball of ours, claim the reward. I now got that one sorted out. Awesome. The porcelain clay seven gives me two aluminium brass. And I think I'm going to need some of those this episode as well. So we'll do something with that. Uh, but first, let's do a little upgrade of this with that on. Thank you. Give me the mossy and this hatchet. I think I'm going to use it forever and ever. So I may as well use that upgrade. So I've got those two upgrades and I've got a spare little bit of mossy for another time. Let's put that in there for now. And then we're going to make this porcelain clay, which I've already technically made everything I need for it. Uh, six. Ah, dang. I need some more bone meal. That's why I put the bones in there. There we go. So we got that. Now that's another quest unlocked. There we go. Make a crucible. Okay, that's a crucible that is fired. Okay, well, I need another crucible anyway. So let's just quickly make this and complete the quest up. Uh, I don't think that will have completed it. No, it's going to need cooking first. But I am going to get two, two things out of it that I'm going to need. So let's cook that up. Uh, it's also a good way of getting lava. And I've got a lot of plans for crucibles and lava and all that kind of stuff. Because you can make a cobble gen. You can make a cobble gen with a lava source. And you can put this over the lava source to make it work faster. So yeah, that, that all ties in nicely. And I can automate the cobble gen to put cobble in here to make lava automatically over the lava source that's making the cobble gen. That makes any sense. And then I can extract the lava and use the lava for all sorts of other things. So that's basic ex nihilio stuff there that you can do all day, every day. Here we go, got that. And lava. But clay bucket of lava, that's technically already collected. Okay. But the crucible I made. Um, but, 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 but that one. I, okay, fine. Whatever. Yeah, cobble gen. It's showing me how to do the cobble gen. Claim the reward. Got that. And some new stuff is unlocked. Okay. Stone miner. Um, uh, 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 uh. Charcoal. Lots of cobble for you. Stone miner. Can use teacon picks and shovels. It requires coal and charcoal to run. Fingers aching from clicking over and over. Why not try the miner? I know, I know. There's nothing to mine. But if you upgrade the miner with a cobble gen upgrade and feed it coal and charcoal, it will produce lots and lots of cobble for you. Okay, so there's stone miner would be a cobble gen. Okay, yeah, not worried about that just yet because I've got all the cobble gen already in mind. Uh, playing with dolls, precious doll, not bothered about that yet. Another quest, find a sunrise. I'm in the wrong dimension. Oh, there's dimensions to worry about, eh? Cool. Special areas in the world... Where traders appear and boss monsters can be fought. Try finding some of these. Okay. Wrong dimension at the minute. That's interesting though. That's something to look forward to. If it's implemented already. Uh, end stone. I know I can make end stone uh, with Exnahelio. So I'll sort that out later. That one. I got given that. I get given a blaze one. Awesome. I'll do that. And magical water. Witch water. I'm pretty sure mycelium is something I can get a bit later on. Uh, yeah, and then make witch water out of it. Awesome. I'm actually looking to get into this quicker, but I think this is a train of thought, thought here. Uh, the auto miner and the cobble gen upgrade gets me into this, which is the stone generator, which gets me into the auto sieve. I was just going to go straight for the auto sieve and get a generator anyway, so I may as well see if I can make these couple of things first. Uh, just to get those things. Tinker's Toys all completed? Oh, I've already done all this. Okay. Ah, uh, gear cast. Awesome. Claim that reward. I need that. And that, another two. Awesome. I'd already completed those and I didn't even know it. There's going to be more quests added all the time. I've got one uncompleted here. Oh, Mob Hunter. That'll probably be it. Open. Here we go, yeah. I've killed ten creepers in my mob farm so far and I get these ore sheep. Uh-huh. Half a heart or reward bag. I'll take the reward bag, please. Thank you. Awesome. Pigs, the terrible. Kill the boss. Wrong dimension. Ooh, I like this wrong dimension stuff. Uh, kill a sheep. Uh, kill 30 pigs. Kill 20 zombies. I'm nearly there with zombies. Is there a skeleton one as well? Dang it, there's not a skeleton one. Oh well, that's that's cool. I like the sort of quest jaded. If you're watching, that is. I like this sort of questing. Awesome. 
I like the idea that it's all going to expand and I'm going to keep getting new quests as the series progresses. Uh, constantly doing updates to the quests and the mods. Sometimes getting the updates to the mods is particularly... Ah, no, what have you done? Like, in the last couple of episodes, I've had the Rainmaker explode on me thanks to a lightning strike. I've had the... Um, what was it? The herb, the basil, not being useful at all again, for apart from the food source that it's meant to be for. I've now got the potatoes that won't potato farm for me. I've got little things like that in the updates that have bugged me a little bit. Oh, cactus did grow after all. Okay, maybe that's not a thing yet. Okay, I can make a mini little cactus farm now and I don't actually need the crop seeds. Okay, well that's probably something that gets nerfed at some point as well. I think that's a likelihood. Alright, yep, okay. So, anyway, let's crack on. There we go. Boom. There we go. Okay, we've got the stone miner. Bing. Let's have a look at learning to skyblock. Stone miner. I just need the cobble gen upgrade. Alright, well that actually took quite a long time because I had to wait for the lava to come. So, I had to wait ages for the lava to build up. So, that was a thing. Uh, but while I was doing that, I was doing a bit more sieving. So I sieved a load more and got a load more resources while I was just standing waiting for stuff. Nice and easy, really. I like, I like, I like. Uh, this upgrade. There we go. Can I just pop that in? No, I can't. Okay, this. This, the miner, which is... <laughs> I need a miner to use the upgrade. So I, I actually don't think I'm going to be using the miner at all because it's a cobble gen. Uh, but that should still unlock the quest, yes, because I used that stone miner. Yes, awesome. Get half a heart and some cobblestone. Claim that reward. Okay, so that's enough of that bit for now. Let's see power drive. Make a stone generator. Now, I was after this. 40 RF per tick. Get some coal, get a stone generator. That is the next thing that I want to get. I want to get it. Uh, but you might be wondering what was in this lucky bag. And also, what are these ore sheep? Um, I can only expect that the ore sheep are sheep that I have to shear for ores. And so I will look at that at another time when I've got a pen and everything for animals. Uh, for now, what's this? Hardened leather suit of armor. Cool. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's make myself look really cool. I look like a giant turd now. I look like a giant turd. Pleased to meet you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Man... I have been slaving over this sieve for ages. Ages and ages and ages. I've just been sieving away, getting another 20 or so blocks of gravel to sieve just to get this broken silver. And I think I need it all. So I'm just doing this quickly. And we sh Oh, my days. <laughs> Crushed silver all there. Oh, right. Um, I, don't, I think I need to make it... Oh, man. Okay. I do. I do. I do. I do. I am going to make it, regardless. You have no idea what I'm talking about, have you? I've been, I've been at it for so long now that I don't really know what I'm talking about either. Uh, I'm thinking that I need two of these blocks, silver or dust, right? And that's taken me ages to generate that. Not generating the redstone for a start, then generating the silver ore blocks. Before that, it was gold. I got the gold in here, four ingots of gold off one block of this. Uh, two blocks of this. Uh, let's put one block in at a time, actually. What I'm making now is an automatic sieve. And that requires this, uh, well, it requires Invar for a start, and it requires Electron, uh, Electrum gear, which is an iron ingot and four Electrum ingots. And Electrum is silver and gold together i believe it's equal parts so this should give me two ingots of electrum four ingots of electrum okay i didn't need that after all uh, 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 uh okay well i'm gonna pop that in there and i'm gonna let that melt down anyway uh four off one of those sand that's worth remembering i i hadn't really considered how many i'm getting off everything anyway uh electrum i only need four electrum so i'm gonna quickly get these out and make some more later, because these auto sieves, I'm going to need a few of them. I'm going to need at least one auto sieve per type of thing you can sieve, eventually, for automation purposes. But 
There we go, that's that. And now I've got the iron, and I've already made my invar ready as well. So that should be good. Uh, should be good. Okay, so let's make this invar uh, electrum gear. Okay, and the sieve required a silk mesh as well. I, I better have some string now. After all that, I better have some string somewhere. Uh, yes, I've got some string. Okay. I was going to say, I've, I've not been doing string farming for a while. I've not done any string farming for a while. I uh, need some nuggets. That's why I made so much invar. So that there, that in the middle, that on the top, and invar, 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 invar. Oh, that's not that. Not that. That at the top. There we go. I was nearly ready to cry. I was nearly ready to cry. The amount of grind that I've done to make this happen. And it's actually a quest line. So it's awesome, right? What we got here? Okay, power drive. Before you get very far, blah, 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 40 gener 40 RF per tick. But I'm not reading quests again, obviously. Uh, let's claim the reward. I'll use the coal to demonstrate. And then a sieve. You're probably getting very tired of right-clicking on the sieve. Too right I am. Um, you may have already attempted to use some form of block clicker to automate the sieve, only to find out that the jaded one is evil and has disabled that type of shenanigan. The correct method of automating sieves is to use the handy dandy auto sieve. Catchy name, right? It requires power, 10 RF per tick, to be exact, and it can be upgraded with fortune and speed upgrades. Yes. So, I've done that, and I get a reward bag. Awesome. And then there's auto smashing. Now that you have a sieve automated, wouldn't you like to stop hitting blocks with hammers? With the newly painted automatic hammer, you can do just that for six RF per tick. Never miss a swing in hammer again unless you want to, weirdo. I was actually thinking of using pulverizers, but an automatic hammerer. Where? It's a quest now. It's a quest thing. Uh, hammerer. Let's have a look at the hammerer then. I'm not going to make it this episode. I've, I've done making things this episode. What is it? Six more invar. A weighted pleasure plate, which is iron. Iron anvil and a piston. There is no way I can make that much stuff this episode. So I'm just going to set up this automated anvil. Automated sieve. That's what I planned on doing this episode. That is what I'm doing this episode. Okay, now does this output directly? It does 40 RF per tick. And yes, it does output directly. Thank you so much, Van Hal. You are awesome, sir. This little stone generator can build up the power in this sieve. It could actually generate off four of these. Because this generator outputs 40 and each sieve uses 10. However, with speed upgrades, the generator uh, this sieve uses lots more. Uh, do I have any blocks that I can sieve now? Am I going to have to go and uh, smash some more bits and pieces to make some more stuff to do the sieving? Dang it. All right. Uh, let's let's just do a couple just to show you in this episode and I'll do a load more later I have been standing here doing this banging this cobble for so long now I have watched two videos from my friends I watched egos I want space video and I also watched uh, DJ Parsons with his new area door episode just released managed to watch both of them while doing this episode that's how long I've been standing here all right, uh, my hunger hasn't gone down too much though. I think my potatoes may have. I think I've probably eaten a few times. I'm getting through these potatoes by doing this hammering and slamming and all that kind of stuff, sieving. But now we have moved on to the automated sieve. Okay, so it's already full of power. Let's let's get rid of that. It's already full of power. That's quite a lot of power. That's good, and it only consumes ten per tick, so it's going to stay full. These are upgrade slots down the bottom here. And this is the input slot. So I'm just going to sieve the gravel just to show you what it does. And uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. But look, it just automatically sieves stuff for me. Man, oh man, I love it. Uh, before we get some molten electron. Cool. Okay, I'm going to put all that stuff back in there. And let's see what's in this reward bag. What type of reward bag was it? It was a greater reward bag. Uh, because I'm well fed, that's kicked in a bit funny. Oh, never mind. A greater reward bag gives me one meat block. A crap reward. <laughs> Thanks, jaded cat. Thank you. Oh, the well-fed things annoys me with this thing. Oh, man. The sooner I get rid of that, 
uh, overall, the better. Uh, let's throw that in there. As soon as I get the well fed, as uh, soon as I get the well fed, boom, and boom, and nearly done. Okay, okay, farm instinct done. Lots of cool things. Lots of cool things. Right. So the sieve has been activated for a little bit. Been running for a little bit. It's not using up too much power, uh, but it literally is automatically sieving all the things that I want in life, and that is amazing. Uh, next, I'm going to calculate the difference between this. Uh, let's put this on. That rectifies it. <laughs> uh, rec let's have a look at the difference between the cost of the auto hammer and a standard pulverizer. And uh, our standard pulverizer is a couple of copper gears, machine frame, a piston, a couple of flint. So the piston's still in there. It's about the same cost. Machine frame hardened glass which is an induction smelter so i'd have to make an induction smelter first to make the that so that and that's not too hard but making the induction smelter to make the hardened glass is more difficult uh, unless that was a, a simple one that's a reinforced machine frame resonant reinforced yeah okay uh basic so another electrum gear which i can afford to do uh yeah Easy enough with a tin gear. Tin gear and normal glass. Mm, maybe. Maybe that's not too hard after all. Maybe I could whip one of those together and have a pulverizer from a cobblestone gen just doing gravel for me. I'm going to have a mess around with this. Also getting hoppers to take things out and get a little automated stuff going on around and about the place but uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure well, I'm not a hundred percent sure how long I've been waffling on for and well, I'm gonna have to do this taking my hood off again uh, but thank you very much for watching very much indeed I will see you next week for some more agrarian skies 2 this was the 14th video I have produced this week this is the 13th Minecraft video that I have produced and released on my channel this week. So please go and check out some of the other things that I've been doing. I will be doing a similar amount, maybe not quite as much, but a similar amount next week on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you all again soon and goodbye.